हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड बायसिंग इन मॉस एम्पलीफायर सर्क्यूट दिस इज द सिंबल ऑफ मॉसफेट इफ वी से मॉसफेट व्हिच इज मेटल ऑक्साइड सेमीकंडक्टर फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांसिस्टर हियर मॉसफेट is also used as an amplifier we know biasing is very important for any amplifier here biasing is used to set the q point and this q point will decide how mosfet will work as an amplifier so mosfet can also be used as an amplifier we know biasing is very important for any amplifier biasing is used to set the q point here q point will decide how mosfet will work as an amplifier if we consider the symbol of an mosfet it consists of three terminals drain gate and source the voltage between gate and source is generally known as vgs and the voltage between drain and source is known as vds now let us understand biasing by fixing vgs This is one of the simple approach to bias a MOSFET. In this type of biasing, VGS is fixed so that we can get required amount of drain current. Initially, VGS is increased until we get required amount of ID. Once sufficient drain current is obtained. then vgs is maintained constant this can be obtained by using a suitable voltage divider circuit as shown in the figure biasing by fixing vgs is the simple approach to bias a mosfet in this case we will keep vgs as constant or vgs is fixed initially this vgs is increased so that the required amount of id is obtained once the sufficient drain current is obtained vgs is kept as constant so we are using a voltage divider circuit to fix the vgs the drain current id can be given as 1 divided by 2 mu n cox w by l into vgs minus vt whole square here id is the drain current cox is the oxide capacitance vgs is voltage between gate and source vt is the threshold voltage w by l is the transistor aspect ratio which is width and length now if we consider two mosfets the threshold voltage w by l ratio and cox will be different for two mosfets so if we consider any two mosfets the threshold voltage w by l ratio and the oxide capacitance will be different for two different mosfets if we consider the characteristics where we are plotting the graph of vgs versus id if we consider two mosfets we will get two different characteristics if vgs is fixed at that case we will get two different drain currents for two mosfets so for two mosfets if vgs is fixed we will obtain two different drain currents so we can say two mosfets will not have same electrical parameters in this type of biasing q point is not stable and this method is not commonly used so for two different mosfet if vgs is fixed or vgs is common at that case we will get two different drain currents as you can see in this graph that's why we can say two mosfet will not have same electrical parameters in this type of biasing where vgs is fixed q point will not be stable that's why 
this method is not commonly used. Now let us understand biasing by fixing VG. Let us consider a MOSFET biasing circuit with a single polarity supply. So if we say single polarity supply, which means the biasing is done to the drain terminal and other terminal of the supply is connected to the ground. Such type of connection is known as single polarity supply. Here, instead of fixing VGS, we will fix the gate voltage VG. If we apply KVL to the input side, so we will obtain plus VG minus VGS minus IDRS is equal to 0. So here current across the source is written as ID because the same current will flow from drain to source. That's why across drain we have written the current as ID and across source terminal we have written the current as ID. So if you apply KVL we'll obtain VG minus VGS minus IDRS is equal to 0. From this we can say VG is equal to VGS plus IDRS. Let us call this as equation number 1. Here, if VG is fixed or it is constant and if ID varies due to change in temperature, then VGS should decrease to maintain VGS as constant. So if ID varies due to change in temperature, then VGS should decrease so that VG is maintained constant. If VGS decreases, then input will also decrease. In turn, the drain current will also decrease. So if VGS decreases, input to the MOSFET will also decrease. That's why in turn, ID will also decrease. Here RS is the resistance that provides negative feedback. That's why it is known as degenerative resistance. If we consider VG as very much greater than VGS, at that case, drop across VGS is negligible. In this case, we can maintain ID as constant. So if we take VG value as very much greater than VGS, at that case, the drop across VGS will be negligible. In turn, we can maintain ID as constant even though the temperature is varying. From this equation, since VG is very much greater than VGS, so we can neglect this VGS. So we can write the drain current as ID is equal to VG divided by RS. If VG is not greater than VGS, then drop across VGS is not negligible. In this case, RS will provide the required negative feedback. This will stabilize the value of ID and ID is maintained as constant. Here figure 1 and 2 shows the practical implementation of biasing of MOSFET by fixing VG using single power source or dual power source. So figure 1 shows the single power supply where we are providing VDD to drain and other terminal of VDD is connected to ground. So in the dual power supply, Instead of source terminal connecting to ground, the positive power supply is connected to drain and negative power supply is connected to a source. So this is how we can connect the circuit so that we can obtain a fixed VG. Figure 3 shows how to connect a single source to gate through coupling capacitors. So we are using a single source and we are using coupling capacitors here. The coupling capacitor CC1 will block DC 
and allows the signal Vsig to the gate, so which is an amplifier input. Using coupling capacitor will not affect the biasing point. Here coupling capacitor 2 will block DC and allow output signal to couple with the other circuit. Here the coupling capacitor 1 should be very large so that it acts as a short circuit to all desired frequencies and the value of RD should be large enough to provide sufficient voltage gain. This is about biasing in MOS amplifier circuit. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.